Taylor Jenkins. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Pass to Jackson. Over Markkinen. And we're seeing teams pick up the pace. Something you set the trend for in Phoenix, Grant. Why do you think that's becoming more prevalent? Great question. I mean, in today's game, we're all about the analytics. And that has shown that you shoot a higher percentage earlier in the shot clock. So it makes sense to push the tempo and see what you can get early. Memphis trailing here. Morant with it. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Driving in and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Morant with it. Picked up by Allen. The drive by Morant. And then Morant with the dunk. When Morant explodes toward the basket, you're toast. He loves penetrating and finishing. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. Garland, the pass to Sexton. And here's Markkinen. Back to Sexton. Pass to Garland. The teardrop. Nice D from Anderson. For Memphis, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. And he's one of those stat sheet stuffers. Kyle Anderson at 6'9 gives you rebounding, playmaking, grant a little bit of everything. I mean, the combination of size with skill is what makes him special. And his wingspan helps him impact the game in so many ways. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. And now a three-point Memphis lead. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish. There's the steal. Here's Bain. Checked by Sexton. Pass to Anderson. And that one drops. And the Grizzlies lead by five. Thanks to Kyle Anderson's size advantage over most of his matchups, he's an effective interior scoring option. Here's Okoro. Just five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Sexton misses. The Grizzlies have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Outside Morant. Pass to Adams. Jackson outside. From the wing. Misses there. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the Grizzlies. They lead by five. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. This highlight will not only make it on the TV, it'll make it into the film session. <laughs> And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth. Ricky Rubio is out there with Colin Sexton. Then it's Laurie Marketing. Then there's Kevin Love. And it's Mobley in at the four spot. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Pass to Melton. Now Williams. Back to Clark. To the middle. That one's good from Melton. On the assist by Clark. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. 
Outside Sexton. Misses off the right iron. The rotation in the D could be better here. It, it'll cost them next time if it's not. Two minutes remaining of the game. Pass to Tillman. Over Sexton. Tillman misses. The Cavs trailing. Love with the ball. The three. Hits the three-pointer. Love's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. And it's easy to see why Love is considered a dependable stretch for him. He's so consistent on outside shooting. Hart, the pass to Williams. Here's Clark. On the wing, Jones. 11 feet out. Rubio with the rebound for Cleveland. They've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Sexton finds Marketing. Outside for Sexton. It's another three for Cleveland. Oh, man, what a smart feed for Marketing. I mean, I'd like to see him do that more. Get his teammates involved. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. They're trailing by one. A minute nine left in the final quarter. Present the New Balance player of the game, Jared Allen. And it's easy to see why they keep getting it to him. He keeps getting after it on the offensive end, putting in that work. He's been getting good looks and shooting the ball efficiently all night. A line change here for Memphis. All right, let's get a report from Allie. I was able to listen in on what Taylor Jenkins had to say to his team. He told his players, you know your job. Now just go out and do it. Don't get caught up in the moment. I want you to play with a steady pulse. He understands the emotions can run high at this stage of the game. Okay, thank you, Allie. Cleveland calls timeout. They're trailing by one. 103 left in the fourth quarter of this one. It's gone in the fourth. Inside. It's tipped. Allen. Ooh, some solid defense from Adams. So it's the Grizzlies now. They lead by one. On the wing, Bain. Outside Morant. The three is up. Oh, gets the three to fall. Reminding us again why he's one of the game's great clutch shooters. And here's Sexton. Outside Garland. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Good 
anticipation and instincts. Jackson, he's established himself as a quality shot clock. Getting a little desperate at this stage. I mean, the clock's the big factor. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Marketing's checked in. And that's an intentional foul. That's his second person foul. Second team foul. At the line for Memphis, John Moran. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. You know Jean Moran, such a dynamic guard. His combination of speed and creativity makes for some tough matchups. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that puts him up five. Cleveland calls timeout. They're trailing by five. 19 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what do you think? No doubt. They've got to get a quick bucket here. Yeah, and quick. No room for error. No time to waste. seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Sexton passes to Markkinen. The three from Okoro. And another miss by Cleveland. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Colin Sexton. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Grizzlies, John Moran. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Ooh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he's able to hit the second one. And that increases the lead to six. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Akuro to halt the run. The shot comes out. So it's Memphis winning this one. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory, but a win's a win. And, and so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. They really kept this team's energy high. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Jaron, you've shown yourself to be an impact player at both ends of the floor, but is defense where it starts? Yeah, you know, the talking keeps me active, just being able to move my feet, being able to stay low on defense, you know, all those things keep you engaged. And when you do those things, you can make a big impact as the anchor of the team. And, you know, everybody else, they take pride in defense. So if I'm working on everybody else, it's great. Thanks, Jaron. Congrats on your success. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. Alongside Chris Weber, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and the entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.
that dick. We run it down your fillers. No, they probably looking. Cause they know that I'm cooking. That's probably what they took in. I wish I told you all that's in my head. It's sad. I don't give a what you expect. So put your pride to rest. I saw you. Now you. I sip a hot tea, watching RG flip on Meathead. I left the page, ripped torn, writing what the beat said. On the mic is heat red, ghetto head, street bread, all crooked. Can eat, weak, and gluten free. He is who he is, it's who he be. Mind your biz for me. It could either help you in the long run. What good's a song if the jong's no fun? Sun, show gun, invisible, I'm a level five. Couldn't stay alive. Playing job, beaming on the telemetry, old enough to be your uncle prime time MC. Although prefer the term Rama, third time a slurred word primer, dime my mama, and make sure it stay tight, it's only right. On the daylight and the nightlife, they bite trife. From the bug, the happy go lucky. Ask him, do he really give a uh, no ice bucket list? Yeah, struck a nugget, duck. When I, I guess I prefer me going that. Cause Zerf is truly the same So the difference I never tell He's sending like it's the mail Captain Bitch he said it's sale yep. Excel like Microsoft On all of these other fails I His trail so. never derail His mental's the holy grail As the stress gets released From the simplest up in hills It's sealed from all the chanting Like he holding up a strike The mics is only light A light's my only vice the Advice only is like a satellite I see them trying this Feel I'm in the skies have been granting this kid's wish it's kind of ridiculous like thoughts of saint nicholas breaking and leaving gifts for all the world's underprivileged kids quit with the ignorance the emperor's legitimate and learn to never give a they never getting it i'm making it clear all the haze took focus as these jokers appear i've been accelerating i already know when it's still he stay face no breaks i'm just peeping the rear and i've been living out of love they living in their fear i change ways i'm cruising but never changing the gears they say that he back act Actually, I've been at it for years. Dreams, the side view mirror, they closer than they appear. Just beware of the emperor. I play the game vendor. He raps Wes Anderson, directing these beginners to illustrious. I lead a sucker fits to the pretenders. Made tenders as I played Simba. That's dinner. I remember when my shine was a little bit dimmer. Now it's bright in the light. I leave them blind from the shimmers. They trying to play the blinds. I leave them falling like timber. Designed to rise from this abyss. This kid's art differs like shimmers. He the coldest vibe alive and it's evident. Uh, I put the pride to the side. It's irrelevant. An angel like mine know my heaven sent. <laughs> and it's the best it gets. And I went. 2296. Let's know what it is, man. Long time coming. Word. My disregarded thugs. A gnat in here. Get out of here, gnat. You got something to tell me, gnat? You got something you want to tell me, gnat? Uh. Uh. Cuff my... Place myself on house arrest. Locked in. <laughs> Judge, jury, bailiff, bet. When it rains, I'm dry. Sun shines, I'm wet. Push up. Doing about 50, 11, sex. Ignoring your text like sweet babies who cry in the church. Oh, if your partner got yesterday in school, come first. My favorite color is yellow, maybe because I'm mellow. And I got so much style, it's probably because I'm ghetto. My mommy never cooked the Cosby dinner. 
And oftentimes I took an L for Mrs. Winters, but I'm getting off the subject. Off the boat, got my luggage, but the quote, pack life starts to echo through my mind. So I'm rushing now, hushing now. Laid my suitcase down like prom night. Tossing memories, socks, stocks, who pretend to be box of briefs, pants, pictures of frenemies. Me to make room, room, room for the life. Lately, I've been cut the cord to my bungee. You can be yourself, don't be shy. Take your time, don't you? Thought I'd run a rolly, but figured that I didn't need it. Dressing like that Thursday in November, know that they'll remember style. Boil it, then let it simmer down. We between the breeze, the twist of single leaves. No more. We ride the rings of memories. We rock at the intricacies of my logic. No hands on my pockets. Still got my hand on my. And he more Malcolm than Martin. A bit more Baldwin than both. You need a cauldron for mixing. Soul in a soup. So many fish bowl can't cope. You cracking jokes about the soap. We more concerned with the truth. Burning the booth, these burning the wick at both ends. Fade the black, I'm ghosting in the light. Lately, I've been waking up at night, trying to beat the day. Overconfident, I can't be easy. Room, room, room for the light. Lately, I've been cut the cord to my bungee. You can be yourself, don't be shy. Yeah. Take your time, don't you? I know what I know, but you heard what you heard, so you poked your head in, got suspicion confirmed. Been on my feet for miles, so my soul got some burns. Still is how you feel, I'm up. If you can't hold me down, then you don't get the turn. Yeah, yeah. Famous last words, nothing sacred no more. Either take what you want or you make what you earn. If I do, I promise I'll pray for you first. Like, ooh. Let me threes my scalp with this. Like, ooh. Yeah. What's the worst thing that can happen? Use the answer to relax. For the life. Lately, I've been. Cut the cord to my bungee. You can be yourself, don't be shy. Take your time, don't you rush things. The Jazz are away from home as they take on their Western Conference rival in today's game. Lakers looking to make the most out of their home court advantage here at Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Buckle yourselves in, everybody. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. LeBron outside over O'Neal. The Lakers rebound. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's Davis. Second chance shot. That shot no good. Gobert with the defensive effort. Not loose. Here's James. Yep, that one goes. Yeah, you know, LeBron's mental strength is just so, so focused that nothing much phases him. He stays locked in. Mitchell is double. Gobert down low. Boyan Bogdanovich. Banked in off the glass. 
And, and how about the recognition by Gobert? I mean, of course, it does help when you're seven feet like Rudy. It can give you a clean view of the court. Now here's Davis. with the jam. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. Westbrook with a wide open look. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. There's the double team with West. Here's Gobert. And it's blocked by Jordan. Hey, you know he's around, and that's what he does. DeAndre Jordan throwing that shot out of there. And it's Mitchell oh, with the jam. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Yeah, just couldn't contain himself. Couldn't control himself there. A great assist. Nice work from Russell Westbrook. In the corner, O'Neal with it. A miss that time would have put him up. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. He gets it in there. Oh. Love it when Westbrook oh. takes it right at the defense like that. Strong and then defense finishes as well. And now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. Here's Mitchell driving to the basket. No, sir, don't bring that in here. A.D. having none of that. What an imposing figure he is defensively. Conley with it. He's picked up by Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. And oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And Westbrook's high motor is high. He, love him. he goes out, Greg, and competes every play in every game. Right, no doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out on the NBA Finals. This is a guy that is hungry to get back to that stage. It'll be interesting to see if he can get it done. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Very high percentage so far. And will be three, if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Lakers? Really some great drives to the basket here early on for these guys. Now here's Gobert. Six to shoot. The drive by Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. And that's Mitchell at his best. Playing the quarterback on this offense and leaving the D, grabbing for air. In the corner, it's James. Outside for Davis. Back to James. To the paint. Wants to get it to Westbrook and does. Westbrook. It's good. Westbrook's got five minutes. Well, LeBron James is clearly a tremendously talented passer. When a guy is open, he'll get him the ball. The try by Mitchell. Here's Gobert. Pass to Mitchell. Over Westbrook. Gobert. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And just an excellent rebounder. Gobert is so good at using that incredible wingspan to track down those additional scoring opportunities. Davis gets a wide open look. The baseline J off the mark. Outside Conley. Has to Gobert. O'Neal with it. It's tipped. Launches it. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's the Lakers the other way. Here's Davis. And Davis throws it down. And I'll tell you what, AD is able to brush off those defenders with ease because of how strong he is. That's what they call weight room. 
Utah. Conley with it. He's picked up by Jordan. And the call is going to be. Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. And not the most common cardinal you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Los Angeles leading by five. James with it. Down low. Here's Anthony. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first. And last year, Carmelo Anthony climbed into the top ten all time in scoring. Well, I mean, he's a surefire Hall of Famer. And he may never get that NBA title, but you factor in college and international play, and it, there's no doubt he'll be in Springfield. To the inside. Right side. Pass to Ingles. The Jazz again can't hit it. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Now, here's Clarkson. Following the miss by Carmelo Anthony. Oh, a superb shot block. LeBron continues to add to his highlight reel of impressive rejection. Now, Ingles. To the middle. Here's Whiteside. A shot's good Hassan. on the assist by Ingles. An absolute bully in the lane. Nothing the smaller defender could do there. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Jordan Clarkson. Elevating like a rocket this booster. Clarkson two. likes to get into Eric the paint Astro. and finish at the rim. Here's James. LeBron James. Taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Here's Clarkson. And it's sent back by Howard. Get that weak stuff out of here around Howard. Return to Cinder is what he stamped that one with. Now, here's Clarkson. Just five to shoot. Here's Pascal. Yeah, really like the defensive focus and intensity at the start. Exactly. Nothing easy. They're making them work just to get into their offense. Very disruptive so far. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Pass to Pascal. The shot by Butler. Nobody around. Off target from outside. And a wide open look for James. Three Six point. the three pointer. And now it's a 10 point Los Angeles lead. Nice play. And you can see they're gathering Two momentum. And, you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Butler from outside. That will not get it done. He's over two. Pass to James. And here is Anthony. Puts it up from 17. Stolen by Clarkson. Here's Ingles. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. 122 left to play in the first. Outside Anthony for three. Pass to Monk. Kicks it out to James. And here is Anthony. Angles covering. Anthony can't hit. And close to making the defense pay 
for the lax coverage that time. Takes a three. Ingles can't get it to go. Los Angeles leading by eight. James outside. No good that time. Good work defensively by Whiteside. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Shot and game clock separated by five. And it's sent back by Howard. Well, I admire the fact he's trying to power through this rough stretch, but on occasion you'll have periods like this. 12 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Butler. And it's sent back by Howard. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And what stands out to you from the Lakers in this one? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. 11 feet away. And that one's good by Davis. Davis has got the lead up to 10 now for Los Angeles. Some super teams come together, Clark, on paper, and they look like sure things for the finals. But just how important are the other things, the intangibles? Yeah, I think the intangibles, Kevin, are the most important things. When you talk about chemistry, trust, connectedness, those things just don't happen because you have great talent in three or four players. You have to have a team that's committed to one another and that trusts one another. And it takes time to build that into a championship caliber unit. So well, those intangibles are really important if you're going to win a championship. Butler attacking. It's stolen by Davis. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. Buries the corner three. Sharing the basketball is a part of the game that Monk needs to continue to add to to complement his shooting. Substitution for your record. Avery Bradley. Now, here's Whiteside. Raja. And Clark. That one goes careening off the glass. On the wing, Davis. Nice move. And Davis throws it down. So smooth, so fluid, effortless, yet powerful. When Davis gets positioning like that, he's trying to dunk it. Now here's Butler. Pass to Whiteside. Now here's Clarkson. Pocket six to stop the run. And slammed in by Whiteside. Whiteside. And the presence of Whiteside in the paint, really unreal. He is a dominant figure down low. Great work to grab that second chance opportunity. Back to Rondo. Outside, Davis. And it's Hassan Whiteside with the rebound. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Utah Jazz. Trailing by 13. Butler goes in. And it's Butler with the jam. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Maybe that'll help them recapture their edge a little bit, guys. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Utah Jazz last season was elite at both ends of the floor. Sixth man of the year winner Jordan Clarkson says, three things we've been doing well are playing fast, sharing the basketball, and defense. We're playing a fun style of basketball and just keep racking up the wins. Guys? They are fun to watch, and a handful. D.A. thanks. Pass to Anthony. 
Left side, Davis. And Davis throws it down. Indeed. What a great effort that time by Davis. Just never gave up on it. Worked through Defense tough defense and still Joe found a way to get it up and down. The Lakers have made three free throws so far. Haven't missed any. And this, the second season of Anthony Davis's five-year, $190 million extension. And he admitted that with his injury history, that long-term security was a consideration. And they keep hammering That's away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. At the line. And AD's injury woes rearing their head last season as well, Greg. We saw it missing a number of games. Well, a, a big man with his athleticism, a lot of stress on the leg. But LeBron's gotten him on the same nutrition and treatment regimen. Hopefully, that'll help. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. Davis. No good on that one. Good work defensively by Whiteside. The wide open look here for Ingles. Joe Ingles. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Right side, Davis. And right side sends it back. And Whiteside takes great pride in rejecting shots. Outstanding in getting his arms up and denying shooters. Here's Oni. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Ingles. And Davis sends it back. Bobbed up there for Howard. And Howard with the stuff. It's really, really hard to keep Howard out of the paint. I mean, once he gets the position he wants, he's going to look to throw it down. Timeout, timeout. And wait to finish and cut timeout. into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two hands. And the Lakers call time here. Lakers leading by seven. Outside Westbrook. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Westbrook's got seven points. Westbrook's so good at maintaining control, even though he plays at high speed and with great aggressiveness. Here's baseball. Good. That's an 11 point Laker lead. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. And the foul you called on Donovan foul. Mitchell. Donovan that Mitchell. is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Jordan high post. Five to shoot. Here's Anthony. Rebound Utah. Mitchell with it. Westbrook picks him up. The drive by Mitchell. And it's blocked by Jordan. James looking around.
out to the wing. Or three, Westbrook. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. That stroke is all about focus for Westbrook. When he's dialed in, he's got his balance, mark it up. Conley inside the line. No good off the back of the rim. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. Now here's Conley. No points in the game yet for him. And this pumps the whole team up. Conley's shooting ability brings energy and excitement. And the foul called on Boyan Bogdanovich. That's foul number two for him. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Great job preventing that ball from coming into the post. Might have been an easy two if the defense wasn't there. Nice look there from Bogdanovich. The shooter keeping an eye peeled and open for the open man. Bounce pass Anthony. Pass to Jordan. Just five on the clock. Two minutes remaining. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's James. And misses it off the right side of the rim. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this bad. Inside, here's LeBron. Yep, Westbrook seems to have a sixth sense for those kinds of openings. He knows exactly where the gap is and finds his teammate perfect. And the shot goes in from Rudy Gobert. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. LeBron James on the wing. 11 points in the game. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Yeah, you got to respect the athletic reach of Jordan. Throw it up, and he will bash in the alley-oop. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Conley. Now Gobert. Five on the clock. The drive by Mitchell. Not a piece of it. And they get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And here's James outside. Doesn't go for him. The Jazz go the other way with it. Mitchell outside. At the elbow, it's Gobert. Gobert double team. It's O'Neal atop the key. Six on the shot clock. For three, Mitchell. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. At one point, they led by 16. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. You know, they've been the more up-tempo team, clearly. It's helped them gain the advantage in this And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Their lead at 15 going into the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Baysmore with it, now defended by Mitchell. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort zone. And it's Mitchell with the jam. What an incredible elevator. Don't tell Mitchell he's six feet. Donovan plays way bigger. Here's Davis. The turnaround jumper. Davis has got 16. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. And there's Gobert putting it right back in. A 
hard work and, and soft hands. Guys, that, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip-in. But that's the way to go if you've got good position. Now here is Conley. Let's it go from deep. Westbrook pulls it in. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. One of the big surprises with the NBA draft, the trade of Russell Westbrook. Westbrook let it be known he was open to another move. And it'll be interesting to see how he fits next to LeBron and AD this season. And the Jazz with possession here. After the basket by the Lakers, Conley gets the bucket. Not sure what the defense was thinking. I mean, you can't leave this guy open from deep. On the wing, Davis. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Shoots from the line. The Lakers keeping it going. A new 14-second shot clock. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and they'll make him earn them from the line, and that's what you want to see. And the Lakers making a change here. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got eight. To the paint. Here's O'Neal. Conley with it. Picked up by Davis. Conley gets the bucket. Conley. Conley's got five points in the quarter. And he's been a terrific point guard in this league for a long time. Mike Conley just knows how to play. On the wing, James. Right side, Jordan. A fadeaway. James, no good. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over him, but that is a difficult shot to sink. Here's Gobert, and the shot is long. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. And it's Davis missing. Jazz trailed by 12. Nice ball movement by Utah. Outside Conley. From deep. And out of bounds is Los Angeles Kings possession. Los Angeles ball. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. LeBron James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, take the challenge to guard on the perimeter and continue to protect the paint, it's hard to score on him. Guys? D.A., he is a lead in every way. As are you. Thank you. Lakers lead by 12. The three from Bradley. Rebound by Mitchell. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Utah. Their defense has only allowed six points in the second half. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Mitchell left side. And it's blocked by Jordan. LeBron outside. Bradley, no one around him. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Bradley's got his first three points of the game. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Lakers. Donovan Mitchell. Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. Pass to Bazemore. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. We come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Kept alive. Here's O'Neal. And the foul Lakers on Kent Baysmore. That'll be his second foul of the game. That's his second personal And the Jazz foul. with some changes. First team foul. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Pascal. 
I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. Los Angeles calls timeout. Ball. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't timeout. like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Westbrook surveying the D. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. No question about it. No flop there. That was a direct shot to the chest. Ingles in the corner. Drills the three-pointer. Ingles has got 11 points. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Right and Howard with the second chance points. There are not many better on the offensive blast than Howard. He's a flat out beast, especially if you don't box him out. Now, here's Ingles. 11 points in the game. Going inside. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. 13 points in the game. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. And stolen by Bazemore. And here we go with Westbrook running it up the court. Monk with the bounce pass. He's looking for James and finds him. Back to Monk. Drops in the tray. And the Lakers lead by 15 got to be up on Monk all the time. I mean, even when the pass has not gotten to him yet, you need to be there before it arrives because he's ready to let it go when he catches it. Now, here's Ingles. Here's Whiteside. And it's sent back by Howard. Whiteside, Westbrook. Fires for three. Great positioning on the putback. Getting ideal positioning and using it to capitalize on the offensive glass, that's evidence of the strength that LeBron James has. From the Bengals. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Monk for three. A putback. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Oh, what terrific hustle. He's got a nose for the rebound. Craig, he's ferocious when the ball goes up. That's what they've got him out there for, fella. Ingles can't get it to go. Los Angeles leading by 19 points. The shot by Monk is no good. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Down low. 